What's up YouTube, Mike here again, and today I wanted to do another video on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. And this is the 10.1 inch model. Again, this replaced last year's 9.7 inch model. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've already done a review on this tablet. However, um, with the S Pen, you can literally do an entire series of videos. So really, I kind of wanted to focus on the drawing aspect. I talked about it a little bit in my initial review of this, but again, I didn't want that video to be like 30 minutes long. So I kind of wanted to do a separate video on drawing. I'm no artist, um, but over the last year, I've been trying to kind of pick it up as a hobby. So that's one of the things that intrigued me about this tablet. Um, and that would be obviously the S Pen. So um, this is the drawing that I've done thus far. And as I'm talking, I'm gonna show kind of a time-lapse of this drawing so you can kind of see how the S Pen works. but um, the app that I used is Sketchbook, and this is for the um, Galaxy specific is what it says. It says Sketchbook for Galaxy, but if you get it from the Android store, it might not say for Galaxy, but it's going to be the same program. Now, this is a free program. However, I had to pay a $4.99 to unlock all the pro features, which is extra brushes and gives you the ability to record a time lapse and stuff like that. But um, there's numerous apps out there that you can draw with. Um, this is just the one that I happen to try. Um, but I really want to talk about the S Pen. So uh, for a portable sketchbook, I can absolutely recommend this tablet and the S Pen, obviously. Um, now, if you're going to do this for your primary drawing tablet, the screen may feel a little cramped. Um, but for like a portable sketchbook, you can go on the go. I definitely recommend it. Um, I actually have a Surface Pro 4 which has obviously got a bigger screen. So I kind of prefer that just for the screen real estate. But I actually think the S Pen is more accurate than the Surface Pen. Um, I haven't perceived any parallax whatsoever with this. And parallax is nothing more than where the line is and the tip of the pen. So um, usually it can be kind of offset depending on what technology you're using. But I can say with the S Pen, it's been absolutely perfect. Um, the only downside with the S Pen is just the size. Um, obviously, it's small and skinny, so it can fit in the tablet and store in the tablet, which I love. But again, for an extended drawing session like uh, me, like I said, I'm no artist, so this took me quite a while. So after about 30 to 45 minutes, your hand kind of starts to feel cramped with this. So um, I did order a bamboo stylus from Amazon. So once I get that, I'll test it out. Just something that feels a little more ergonomic but so far I have to say the pin accuracy though is spot on. It's got pressure sensitivity. I mean, you can see from the time lapse that it works as it should. And one feature that I did find out is if you use the actually the built-in Samsung Notes app, it does have tilt. So obviously the Surface Pen does not have tilt, but the Apple Pencil does. But I found out that this actually has tilt so I don't know I'll try and show you here real quick um, obviously it's not as um, pronounced as with the Apple pencil but it is there nonetheless so I don't know if you can see it's really hard to see uh, let me actually pick a pencil there we go actually so anyway it's kind of hard to show but it does have tilt if you use the samsung notes app which um, is probably not the best app <clears throat> as far as if you want to do a lot of artwork or drawing but it is there so but if you use sketchbook it's not there you'll just have to use um, various brushes to do your shading but anyways um, that's pretty much it i just wanted to talk about that yes if you are an artist or somebody who just likes to doodle and sketch I can absolutely recommend this for this, uh, for that purpose. It works perfect. The S Pen is absolutely uh, spot on when it comes to accuracy and pressure sensitivity. So with that, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to see on the Galaxy Tab A 10.1, just leave it in the comments below and I'll shoot a video. I plan on doing another video just talking about the S Pen features that it does within the tablet generally. But uh, this one, I just kind of wanted to show off how it does as a artist tool so with that if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please do so thanks